Podcasting from beautiful Leesburg, Virginia. Welcome to the Music Educator Podcast, bringing you tips, tricks, and practical advice that you can use tomorrow. Here's your host and fellow music educator, Bill Stevens. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Music Educator Podcast. My name is Bill Stevens, your host for today. I'm elated that you are here. We have a little news for you. Today, we actually have our very own Android app for the Music Educator Podcast. Yay! If you are interested in downloading this, you can find it at the number four, themusiceducator.com forward slash TME podcast Android app. Again, that's the number four, themusiceducator.com forward slash TME podcast Android app. And today in season two, episode 11, we are going to talk about frequent music instrument repairs. Let's get started. Frequent everyday music repairs often horrify many young music directors. And this is primarily because many educators have inadequate skills to address instrument repair. Every day a child doesn't have an instrument in hand weakens the music program the educator is trying to develop. And for this reason, this podcast suggests several quick fixes for minor repairs so that everyday band directors can manage instead of sending off their instruments to the repair shop. Music Instrument Repair By having a mouthpiece for each instrument, you can determine if an instrument needs repair. For example, if students that play saxophone uh, may be having issues creating a desirable sound. Now, after examining the instrument, you'll find that there is no problem with the instrument. The issue is a result of student error. Start by asking the most obvious potential problems. As a music educator, it's effortless to waste time inspecting pads, corks, and rods when the real problem could have been a result of a broken reed. The following recommended problem and solution options may provide you with an added skill in the music educator toolkit. Brass instruments. Brass instruments are relatively easy to learn. The Overtone series provides these instruments the ability to use the same fingerings for multiple pitches. Often brass instrument repairs are needed due to damaged tubing. Brass instruments use valves and rotors and slides to extend the length of tubing a musician alters to create different sounds. And as a result, if this tubing is damaged, the tubing cannot be modified to create this desired result. Brass issue number one. Problem. Fuzzy, airy sound. Possible causes. Tubing has a leak or missing water key. Possible solutions. Inspect the length of the instrument. Use electrical tape to seal the leak until the leak can be resoldered. Also, replace the missing cork with a new one or a rubber pad. If these items are not available to use, roll up just a little bit of paper and masking tape or electrical tape to create a seal. Bring the instrument to a repair technician as soon as possible. Brass issue number two. Problem. The instrument is making a buzzing or a rattling sound. Possible causes. A valve cap is loose, or a foreign object is in the instrument, or a solder joint has loosened up. Possible solution. Tighten the valve cap clockwise. Also, remove the valves and slides. Check for any foreign objects in the instrument. Remove these with a cleaning snake or similar object. Brass issue number three. Problem. The French horn pitches are incorrect when the first or third rotors are used. Possible causes. The first and third slides have been switched. Possible solutions. Examine to see if the longest slide is connected to the third rotor. Simply reinsert the slides in the correct position. Brass issue number four. Problem. Trombone slide will not move without force. Possible causes. Is dirty or needs lubrication. Also may have a dent in the inner or outer slide. Possible solutions. Take off the outer slide. Clean and wipe the inner slide with a clean rag. Lubricate the slide. 
Keep in mind the lubrication should be a thin layer primarily on the caulking. This is the thicker portion of the inner slide that the outer slide should be in contact with. If the slide doesn't move, have a professional repair technician take care of it. Saxophones, flutes, and clarinets. In general, woodwinds have all the same working parts. However, these parts are more complex and sensitive to pressure than brass instruments. As a result, rods, levers, springs, and keys have to work in harmony for the woodwind instrument to work correctly. Since woodwinds have more working parts than brass instruments, they have the potential for a need for more repair. Woodwind issue number one. Problem. Saxophones won't play in low registers. Possible causes. Octave keys on saxophones often get bent. This would prevent the sax from creating a seal since air is able to escape. Or, bell is slightly bent out of alignment and place all of the lower keyed pads out of alignment. Possible solution. Gently bend the octave key cup close so it creates a seal. Gently nudge the bell back in the opposite direction. Be sure to tighten the screw associated with the right hand third finger slightly. Woodwind issue number two. Problem. The G and G sharp sound the same on saxophones. Possible causes. The G sharp is more than likely sticking. Possible solution. Carefully lift the G sharp key with your fingers. Most saxophones G sharp key shouldn't stick after that. Woodwind issue number three. Problem. The flute G sharp key remains open when released. Possible causes. The G sharp lever key is bent and rubbing on one of the surrounding keys. Possible solutions. Carefully bend the G sharp key lever back to the appropriate position. The cause of this could be due to the student storing pencils in the case or other foreign objects. Woodwind issue number four. Problem. The right hand notes in the clarinet do not sound correct. Possible causes. Bent rod, key, and bridge alignment. Possible solution. First, check to see if the bridge mechanisms are correctly aligned. These mechanisms can easily get bent if proper attention is not given to one's instrument setup. If the lower joint rings do not move, it is more than likely that the upper bridge got caught under the lower bridge mechanism. Gently untwist the clarinet and search for the bent bridge. Consequently, this will more than likely need professional attention to realign the instrument. Percussion instruments may quite easily require the most regular maintenance. Elementary band programs may consist of simple instruments such as the snare drum, bass drum, bells, and cymbals. In contrast, middle school through college ensembles can easily possess a large assortment of percussion equipment. The following are a few of the most common issues encountered by music directors. It'd be wise to invest some time to research how to maintain percussion equipment. As a result, this could save your program thousands of dollars in instrument repairs. Percussion issue number one. Problem. Snare drum head needs to be replaced. Possible cause. Worn or damaged head. Possible solution. For younger bands, use plastic heads. More advanced groups may want to try synthetic or calfskin heads. In most cases, loosen tension rods, remove drum rim, replace with new head, tune the head extension by tightening one rod a bit, then tighten the next rod across from it to the same approximate tension. Continue to do this in a star-like motion. Your goal is to create a tight sounding pop without over tensing the head. Remember, balance is the key. Percussion issue number two. Problem. Tone of the drum sounds dull. Possible causes. The muffler is too tight. Snares misaligned or damaged. Possible causes. The muffler is too tight. Snares misaligned or damaged. Or head tension. Possible solution. Adjust the muffler by turning the large screw on the side of the drum. Check to see if the snare lies flat on the bottom drum head. If not, adjust them accordingly. Percussion issue number three. Problem. Bass drum head needs to be replaced. 
Possible causes. Head is worn or torn. The tone of the drum head is unacceptable as a result of improper tuning. Possible solutions. Follow the directions of replacing snare drum heads. Similar to the snare batter head, the bass drum striking head should be slightly tighter than the other one. Percussion issue number four. Problem. Symbol is cracked. Possible causes. Symbol was misused or dropped. Possible solution. Have symbol professionally repaired or replace spare symbols. Music instrument stores. Music instrument stores are great resources for music educators. Not only is there often a repair technician on site, but replacement parts are occasionally available to purchase at a discount. Be sure to develop a positive relationship with the music instrument store managers and owners in order to capitalize on the best deals possible. Final thoughts. In conclusion, directors engage in music instrument repairs daily and should deal with these issues if possible. One day you could be making adjustments on saxophones or fixing frozen valves and brass instruments. Regardless, if you have to have a professional fix it, be sure to take your instruments to a instrument music store. Most importantly, if you gain quick fix skills, you'll be sure to save time and money. And these benefits will enable your students to get more relevant in class instruction. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all I have for today. I want to wish you a great day, and we'll see you next time on the Music Educator Podcast. Goodbye. Thank you for listening to the Music Educator Podcast for the latest tips, tricks, and practical advice you can use tomorrow. You can subscribe to our podcast on iTunes, Google Play, and Stitcher. Please visit the Music Educator blog at www.themusiceducator.com for additional posts and music education news. As always, join in the discussion and let your voice be heard by providing feedback at www.themusiceducator at gmail.com or leave a Google voicemail at 703-942-9883. We will see you on the next episode of the Music Educator podcast. And remember, music can change the world.